Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Sweet Art Crafts. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how I made this milk strawberry pocky charm that I showed on my IG stories the other day and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Before I get started with pouring any resin into the mold, I personally prefer um, painting the mold first just because it really sticks to the resin later on. So I'm only going to be using acrylic paint because I think this is the best paint to use for painting your molds. So I'm going to be doing that with using a nail polish dropper tool. Once I have finished painting the mold, I wait about 5 to 10 minutes when I see the acrylic paint has dried before I start pouring in any resin because it will cause some issues if you pour it in beforehand. So now I'm going to get started with my resin by pouring in some acrylic paint as well as some pigments and some glitter. So before pouring it into the mold, I always like to hit it with a blowtorch and then just pour the resin all over. Make sure you have enough resin for the mold because when I was pouring this, I realized that I needed a little bit more resin, but it's fine. So now I'm going to get started with the Pocky sticks. So first I'm going to be using Fimo clay. I'll have the color that I used linked down below and I'm going to put it into this clay extruder with the circle attachment so that I can get a nice stream of clay that's really nice and rounded. So now I'm going to take um, the stream of clay and I'm going to cut it into three equal pieces and then I'm going to bake it in an oven on a baking tray for about six minutes at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. To get the crunchy effect that I want on the pocky sticks, I'm going to take some polymer sprinkles that I made previously and use an X-Acto knife to cut these down to a very, very small size that I will use later on. So now I'm going to take a bakeable medium and acrylic paint and I'm going to mix them together to make the strawberry color for the pocky sticks. And then I'm going to use a paintbrush and paint it onto the baked um, pocky sticks. And then I will be taking the sprinkles and just putting it over them. So once I have finished painting the pocky sticks and adding the sprinkles, I'm going to put them in the oven again on a baking tray at 250 degrees Fahrenheit for about 6 minutes. 
And this is how the pocket sticks turned out after allowing them to um, cool down a little bit after baking them. Now I'm going to add in some sprinkles and some beads and some polymer clay pieces into the um, charm. And I'm going to get started on the actual shaker part of this tutorial. So now taking transparency film and a dry erase marker, I'm going to start tracing around the area that I want to place it. Then I'm going to take some scissors and I'm going to cut around it and make sure I measure up everything and that it's perfect and it covers everything so that when I get to pouring in the um, baby oil there's no spillage or anything like that. Now I'm going to take UV resin and I'm going to place it along the charm so that I can place the transparency film over it later. And I'm going to make sure that I link down the um, UV resin that I used down below. Now I'm taking some tweezers to place the um, transparency film as well as taking a toothpick to really make sure that I have all the areas like stuck to the um, UV resin so that there's no like anywhere that there will be any leakage later on. So now I'm going to use a nail lamp and I'm going to just sit it under there for about a minute and 30 seconds. Now if you wanted to leave it as a dry shaker you can stop um, here and just go ahead and dome the piece but I want mine to be a liquid shaker so I already drilled a hole and I'm going to use this bottle with a um, tip on it and I'm going to start filling it with baby oil. With this part you want to work very quickly and take a paper towel and really rub over the hole where you put the baby oil through and then you're going to take some UV resin and put it over the hole and then use a UV lamp and then hit it over it so that it can dry. If you don't do this quick enough the baby oil will start to leak and then it will kind of ruin this process and you're going to have to try to redo it again. Trust me, I've been there. So this is how it looks so far and now we're going to get into actually doming the piece. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a dedicated doming video which will be my next um, video coming up but I'm just going to show like a simplified version of how I dome like flat pieces like this. So I'm going to take the resin and I let it sit for about 15 minutes before I actually started using it because I want it to be a little bit thick so that it doesn't run all over the place and then I'm going to use a popsicle stick and I'm going to start putting it everywhere and making sure that it, it looks as good as I want it to do, be and I'm going to also use a paintbrush to get some areas that I couldn't get necessarily with the popsicle stick. After I have finished doming the piece, I'm going to take my blowtorch and I'm going to use it to pop any bubbles and then let it sit for about 24 hours before doing anything else. 24 hours later. Who else loves that part of SpongeBob? <laughs> but now that it's been 24 hours, I'm going to use a screw and put it into the hole that I made with the drill and I'm going to use my pliers to really get that screw all the way in there. So this part is optional but I like to do this to really make sure that my screw really stays into the resin piece because sometimes I've had issues where it will break, you never know. So I'm going to use UV resin and I'm going to put it around the screw and then I'm going to use my UV light and let it dry for about 30 seconds. And now I'm going to attach the keychain part to the screw and then the charm is completely done. If you guys decide to recreate this, don't forget to tag me in your, re your recreation on Instagram at sweetartcrafts underscore. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share this video with your friends. 
And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye now.